Hello. Today, we're going to solve the problem that I've had for a long time when it comes to ergonomics and DSLRs. This is the camera I usually use. It's a 750D, which means that it's kind of a advanced beginner's model. Now, I've been shooting photography for more than 10 years, but I still like these kind of models because they are kind of small enough that I can bring it around. It's, uh, you know, not overly expensive. So if it breaks, I won't cry too much. The problem is that I have like fairly big hands. And when I grip this, it's, you know, my pinky is missing. And, you know, my fingers go around here and they have to kind of grip not in a natural way, I'm not really happy with it. So what I'm going to do today is that I'm going to create a grip that fits over here and kind of fills out the space so I can get it in here and uh, use this camera for a long time with my bigger hands. I'm going to create a shelf kind of for my pinky and it should go all the way up here making this part here a little bit beefy so I can get a good grip on it with my hands. In another video a while back, I taught you a tip that you could photograph an interface if you want to bring it into the CAD and, you know, have the right shape. I'm going to show you an extension of that tip right now. And that is that you can actually take a piece of paper when you have something flat like this, put the thing on it and simply trace it. And it doesn't have to be extremely... Uh, precise for me in this case just a general outline that's good enough let's head over to the CAD and see how we can use this just like we did in the other video one of the first things we're going to do is to import the picture but, uh, if you saw the other video, you might saw that when I imported the photograph, it came on the wrong side and I had to kind of redo it. But, I've uh, come up with a solution for that. So, I have taken some dimensions from the camera and I know these dimensions, so I will start by doing a sketch with those dimensions, just a rectangle, and then I will import the picture and size it to that rectangle and then I will get the rest of the geometry so that should solve that issue. Look at that, very nice. And I will press OK. So what I will do now is I will go back and I will edit this sketch. Nope, I won't. <laughs> Um, okay, apparently during due to the timelines it, it doesn't work, but I can switch those around. So here we are back in the sketch that I'm now going to get the right uh, thing for this one. And I will try to do that with a circle. So what's important here is that I have the hole in the middle and that I have this geometry correct. So all of this is just going to be waste of plastic. So I'm going to just make something like this and remove that. And that looks good actually. So let's finish this sketch. And extrude. And I'm going to make that going to make that three millimeters and yeah, I'm going to it looks a bit rough but I'm going to add some uh, fillets in a short while so uh, what we can have a look at now is to make 
uh, extra grip. So this will be the pad that sits underneath the camera. I will add the hole here you know, in a short while. But here's another neat little trick. You can make an offset. And I will make that three millimeters. And then I will make this go in here. And I will make this go in here. And I will add an extra offset. It's funny because you can do an offset that is zero and you will get just an outline. And I will do this, remove all of them. Alright, this looks good. Let's uh, print this. Here we are in Cura and I've decided to use um, a bit of support here, but it's not that much. So I'm going to print it on this side because it's a bit of a complex product. So it's difficult to find something to really, you know, some way to really avoid the support. Sometimes you just have to do it and, you know, it's fine. It's not going to affect this so much and um, this is a purely functional part anyway. I don't really care about how it looks. So, let's print it! And here you go! Uh, this is the final product. I think it fits uh, quite well for being a first try, you know, often they don't fit exactly and you have to do a second revision but i think this is great and it really fits my hand perfectly too the pinky works and yeah i think it feels like i'm going to be able to use this camera for longer time without getting cramps the plastic grip is held in place with one of these that i purchased off of uh, i think ebay or something they are just one quarter inch um, screws that you can buy, they uh, cost a couple of dollars or something. And yeah, it's uh, lightweight, simple, sturdy, yeah, super happy. So if you like this and if you want to see more videos like this in the future, please keep posted by subscribing. And if you have any ideas for problems that you would like me to fix with a 3D printer, just shoot a comment and I'll see you next time.